Hi everybody, Jez here from najezza.blogspot.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I've got a very special project uh, for you. Um, it's uh, Well, it's a large project. Um, it's this. It's this very big um, gift box um, that I've used some of the DSP, the Bubble and Fizz from Celebration. Um, and it is uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter by, by eight. Um, and it's that size for a special reason. If we slip off the ribbon and we find something that I love. So we have a nice big uh, gin glass and a bottle of gin. And uh, I've been wanting to make a box for one of these for a long time. I, I do quite often give these away for presents. And um, I, uh, I thought, oh, I need a gift box for it. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. So to make this I've used um, extra thick um, wisp white cardstock and I've just trimmed slightly off the top and off the side so this is eight inches wide by eleven and five eighths long okay and then to to line it you need two strips um, I'm using lemon lime twist and this is the length of A4 and it is um, four and a quarter inches wide. And then you need some end sections which are four and a quarter by four. Um, in my prototype I just used two end sections but I'm going to go for four, give it a little bit of extra strength. And then to decorate the box once it's made you need a mat uh, in I'm using lemon line twist so this is four inches by seven and three quarters and then you need four strips which are seven and three quarters by one and five eighths and four strips which are four by one and five eighths and then I'm using the bubble and fizz uh, DSP I like this um, this one so for the top you need seven and a half by three and three quarters you need four strips that are seven and a half by one and three eighths and then four strips which are uh, three and three quarters by one and three eighths all those measurements will be on my blog so if i went a little bit too fast and you're like mm, um they will all be over there so two two pieces of whisper white three pieces of lemon line twist we'll do it all plus a smidge extra because these were the off cuts and they weren't quite big enough to do um, one of the ends so I did use a smidge of uh, the other and then with the DSP um, this little section here that's what's left over one sheet of DSP okay just to give you an idea of the, the resources that that were required okay so we're going to do all the scoring now so getting my scoreboard out and then i'm just going to make um the top and the bottom are made in exactly the same way so i'm just going to show you how i make one rather than boring you showing you all of them so uh you take this and you're going to score on all four sides at one and seven eighths okay so Because it's quite a large um, object, um, it doesn't. We have to do this in bits. It took me quite a while to sort of work it out um, to to get it right. Um, so that's that's all the scoring. Well, as I say, you're going to make two of these. So we are going to fold and burnish along the score lines. Find my bone folder. And it is quite simple to actually put together. It's just... Um, because I've done all the working out for you. I'm using the extra thick. You could, because there is going to be matting and layering um, going on, 
you could actually do it um, in the normal um, whisper white. I just decided to give it a little bit of extra straight. So we're just snipping up and notching in on these ends the way you would normally for a box. These are my new Christmas slizzers, slizzers, um, and I'm not quite used to them. In fact, I didn't do that one very well at all, so I'm going to snip a bit better into that corner. And then, oh, going to find me fast fuse. <coughs> fuse, you need fast fuse wet glue or tear and tape um, for this because um, you want it to, to hold together. In fact, I'm going to put quite a lot of it on. Fast Fuse has fast become my favourite adhesive. One, because of its strength, you can use it for 3D things and it does mean that I am pretty, pretty sure that when I make a card, it's going to hold together. So we're just matching those up and making Just notch down there slightly. Because I don't want to see that over the top. So that is that is the base. So you will do that twice. Okay. And then you're going to make a lining. So I'm gonna do the lining the lining only fits on one so you've got your two uh, long strips here of lemon line twist i'm going to do a little bit of scoring um, on this and you are going to score at one and five sixteenths at each end okay so and it's sixteenths i used my trimmer for this Got about that because it's a 16th. Um, we do need this because the board does it in eighths of an inch. So, one, what did I say? 15 16th. So, it is literally just before the two there. And I'm just gonna scroll down there and I'm gonna turn it over and do it the other way. do find this trimmer is fabulous for getting accuracy and if you want your 3d projects to look really good you do need some accuracy and, uh, and sometimes you do need the 16th so there we go that's that and then you're just going to fold and burnish those two bits and then they will fit inside like so and they don't quite meet as you will notice and that's why I've got these ends here um, to stick in make sure you get them the right way around so when I did the prototype I just did um, one end but I then decided 
but it would look neater if you cover the joy at both ends and just sticking them in to make sure I've got them the right way around. Okay, so I have slightly revised those measurements I gave you right at the beginning. They will be proper over on my blog at nigeza.blogspot.com. So these end bits are four and a quarter high, so they're the same height as that lining, and they're four and three sixteenth wide, um, not four as I originally said, because that was too small. Okay, so I'm going to glue this together. I'm going to take these top edges and I'm just going to mitre slightly, notch slightly, um, down these top bits um, on both edges and then they won't show we're just going to need to finish do the same on this side I'm keeping them in place so that I remember where they go so I'm just going to notch there Much on this side. There we go. So we've got to make our little sandwich. So the way I did it, so that's the top. I'm going to put some glue on there and then I'm going to attach the sides to it. I'm going to use some Tombow so I've got a bit of wigglage. So some around there and then I'm going to take this and then I'm going to line it up on that scored edge like so and that will go around and then I'm going to do the same on this side Line that up. I'm using the scored edge and the lines on my grid mat as well to help get it in a straight line. And then I'm going to get other bits and like I did before I'm going to put glue on this edge line it up on my grid mats and then kind of need a desk about three times as long to do this bit I did when I was practicing because I did it on my dining room table, which is fair large. And then put some glue on this bit. And that should hopefully fold over and meet like so and it does <gasps> hallelujah okay so that's that's my lining those are the two bits that are going to go on the inside and that should fit inside there like so and to keep it in place i'm going to put some glue around the bottom of this so I'm just going to run a little bit of Tombow around the bottom edges to stick that in place
to do them now. Stick it on there. Quite nicely. just going to glue these in place. I'm going to check which way up I want them to be because they are different sizes. That's the wrong way around. That's the right way. Yep. That looks a bit wrong. That looks better. Right. So I'm just going to so rather than see that line there, that's why I'm, I'm doing this. So just a little bit on, this, on the edges to glue that in place at the bottom. Gives the box a little bit more sturdiness as well if you do that. Because it is, it is going to hold a glass. And a 50 mil bottle so you don't want it crumbling under the strain that way. I have given quite a few of these what gin glasses as presents and uh, I always wanted to have them in a nice in a nice box. So there we have it. So that's the, that's the base of the box. I did make the lid of the box um, off camera and that fits down like that. So we've got a box with um, a little bit of lemon lime twist showing. Okay, so we're now going to decorate um, these edges. So we've got all our mats and layers uh, already cut up. So we've got a big one for the top with its mats. So I think I'm going to stick all the mats to the layers um rather than uh, and then stick it to the top of the box rather than the the other way around because I think that would be more difficult. So just a little bit of tombow to give me the wigglage that I'm after. I love these bubbles. Because if you were, I say this is quite nice for a young, my son, so proud when my son announced that he was drinking gin and tonic. So this is quite a nice, fun, young person's colour, but you could make it a bit more classy if you wanted to. Um, And you could do it to match um, whichever gin that you chose to to put in, which would be quite nice as well. So that's that. So I'm going to continue with those layers and come back to you. Okay, so I've stuck on all these on the bottom and I've just got the last two bits on the lid to do. So... I'm using Tombow for this because I like to have the wigglage. So it just puts a bit on this. It was flowing lovely, do you know, just two secs ago. And then I'll just bring it into place there. Rub it a bit on the inside. 
and then just that last end. Of course, in the shops now, this is the time of year where they're selling off all those glass and miniature sets um, quite cheap. Um, so you could buy some of those and you could resize the box um, to make a gift set with, say, a whiskey tumbler and a miniature. So that's the box. So all I need to do now is add the glass and decorate. So to decorate, um, I'm going to take uh, a saying from perennial birthday, I'm going to take here's to celebrating you and I'm going to use the bubble stamp here um, from the bubble over. So I've got a scrap of whisper white and I've got my lemon lime twist which I'm going to stamp the sentiment in. And then I'm going to get the bubbles. I love that stamp. And I'm going to get some Bermuda Bay, I think. I might do both Bermuda Bay and Clips of Coral and then it kind of matches the DSP. So that's a bit big that one, isn't it? So just gonna stamp round sentiment and then I'm going to go around it in the Calypso Coral but I just need my stamping scrub excuse my arm there and I'm going to just give it a clean going to take the two inch circle punch and I'm going to punch that out there we go and then I'm going to take some of those scraps of lemon lime twist that I've got and I'm going to cut the starburst because it's a bit like the bursting bubbles I think anyway and then I'm gonna stick those two together just gonna clean that so I'm gonna get a bit in my tombow Glue them together if I could actually pick them up. There we go. And then you can see how that complements the DSP beautifully, I think. Right, so let's put this together. Oops. So I've got my my lovely Spanish balloon glass. I've got a bottle of uh, gin 
um, you've got to make sure that your miniature will fit inside the glass and um, they don't all so I've got a bit of tissue paper I would have preferred something um, in the colours or even just plain white but I didn't have any and it's you've got to be careful to cradle that glass because you don't want you don't want it actually breaking before the recipient's got a chance to see it so that fits in nice and snug Put the lid on and then we've got this new lemon lime twist um, ribbon um, in the new spring summer catalog which goes nicely I have already tied it in a bow and I didn't want to do it again so I'm just gonna put it over like so oh, I do need to do it again because I must have loosened it off so thought I got away with tying a bow on camera but no it would appear not I'm actually not bad at tying bows to be fair so there we go okay I'm going to trim that that one that one's already trimmed and then I'm just going to I think have that right I might have that hanging actually just thought that that might actually look nice so I'm just going to get my little old punch and I'm going to put on in the top and I've got a bit of the white baker stuff. Oh, we've got some. I'm sure, we've got some silver stuff. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I've got a few sample bits. You might have the one with the silver in. That's quite cute, isn't it? So, feed that through. And then stick it under there. I'll go under that bow there. And then Tie that in a knot. And then that sits like that. And then if it's not stuck on the box, they can use it for something else if they want to. Um, try and do those ends off. Like so. So there we have it. Very large gift box it is let's measure it so it's eight inches long by four and a quarter wide and it's four and a quarter tall yeah so it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter by eight so a lovely lovely big box so even if you aren't doing it for um, uh, a gin glass you can do it for a, a nice size present okay so all the details and all the measurements um, will be on my blog nigeza.blogspot.com hope you like that don't forget to press the bell so you make sure that you get all of my um, notifications when I do videos and um, I'll, I'll see you again soon bye for now